Hi and welcome to this tutorial about KST, a very fast user-friendly open source cross-platform plotting tool. This tutorial introduces the range tools and demonstrates how to work with live data. To start with, I will load data from uh, this file here, which is currently being written to. I will, for the edit tab, select time interval. Another option could be change detection. When I hit next and select my data as usual, I then pick here count from end and have the last, uh, for instance, 5000 points display. 5000 points. I will create XY plots as well as the spectra plots. Now, if I hit next and finish, I get my plots and as you see the data is being updated live. Note that I can tune here the settings. For instance, I have the data updated more rapidly, 200 milliseconds, so five times a second or slower. I will stay with once a second which will be better for the tutorial. So that was how to get things going. Now to demonstrate the concepts uh, with data sample ranges, I will call it this tool here, which allows to select a given number of vectors and define how the data is read from the vectors, from the files. So here, count from end means from the end of the file, select for instance here, now 10,000 samples. I could also say I want to read from sample number 1000 to the end of the file or if I unselect both of those I could say starting from sample number 10,000 please display 20,000 samples. I find those settings as well here in the toolbar I can click read to end in which case I will get a live updating plot which reads from the beginning of the file or the last uh, selected starting frame all the available data. I can go back to count from end mode in which case I have a fixed slice of data which is being constantly updated. One very important thing to notice here is that the number of samples is constant. It means I always get the same amount of data loaded but it's changing on the time. It's different to zooming in on the data which I could do graphically but in this case here the data is computed based on the subset I selected. I can also for instance create a filter here low pass filter. You will see that when I do this the data is computed dynamically, so I get my filtered data live just as the other one. And as you see here, the FFTs are also updating continuously. I can pause the updates, move back one slice of data or forward, and each time I click one of those buttons, all the vectors are reloaded for exactly the given range. One last thing I would like to show is a feature introduced recently in version 208 which allows to select as a function of time instead as of a number of samples which is much easier. Assuming for instance that I want to start at 1000 seconds and read 1500 seconds worth of data. I could select it in this way here. If you look at the tooltip you will notice that this even works with ASCII formatted times and if I now hit apply or OK I will get my new range of data. I hope this got you introduced to the uh, range tool and how to work with efficiently with the live streaming data with KST. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more tutorials.